Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you my review of this Sunday's episode of The Walking Dead on AMC, which was episode 2 of season 8 called The Damned. And, uh, yeah, so, you guys know if you watched my review of the, uh, season 8 premiere last week, um, you know, I thought it was fine, I thought it was pretty good, um, but it was, there were some, like, odd, like, little missteps or things that didn't quite click the way they were intending for me. Um, I still thought it was a fine episode, don't get me wrong, you know, I'm not one of those people that, uh, you know, that thinks, oh, The Walking Dead sucks now, you know, that was awful. <laughs> um, but, you know, some things were a little bit off about it, and, you know, I just sort of talked generally about how The Walking Dead doesn't have some of, like, the magic it did in the earlier seasons. And, you know, it still not, isn't quite there, of course, but... I thought The Damned was actually a really good episode. I enjoyed it a lot. Um... I think it was a better premiere than the premiere was, <laughs> if uh, that makes any sense. Um... You know, just from the, their assault on one of the uh, outposts and just the way they're uh, strategically going about it, I thought it was kind of what the premiere should have been a little bit more like, you know? Um, I thought it would have worked really good if they had this as the premiere, and then uh, they had Negan show up the same way he did at the end of that, except he was, like, uh, ducked behind cover already, <laughs> um, so people wouldn't complain about him not being shot right away. I think that would have worked better and have it be in this uh, scenario in the episode or something. I, I don't know. But uh, either way, I'm I'm pretty eager to see the rest of Season 8 now. You know, it's off to a, still a fairly good start, I think. Um, as well as that uh, surprise return of a Season 1 character, which I'm not even sure how many people are going to remember. Um, I've already seen comments saying, oh, he's a, you know, Morales is a Google search character. <laughs> um, and, you know, he wasn't like a really really important character but if you're a fan of the show i think you should be able to recognize him um so this is kind of where you can sort of pick apart like the actual fans of the show to the casuals you know what i mean um but yeah i think that was pretty good to see at the end we'll talk more about that in a few minutes like i said it's mostly about their assault on a certain outpost um, you had Eric at risk, you know, getting shot in the firefight as he and Aaron, you know, bas basically have a distraction, you know, to allow the rest of the group to sort of infiltrate the building. Um, and I thought that was pretty good. Um, I will admit there is sort of a lot of, uh, firing, but no one getting hit, <laughs> you know, going on. Um, it's like fire, duck and cover, fire, duck and cover, but no one's really getting shot. Except, like, here and there towards the end of the scenes or something, you know, towards the later part of the episode. I, I don't know. It is a little bit weird, but, you know, you had Francine, she's she's likely dead, you had to Tobin get hit in the arm, so there's that. Um, you also had uh, Ezekiel and Carol going about it, and uh, Carol's still thrown off by Ezekiel's sort of uh, presentation of himself, you know, the way he sort of, uh, you know, just smiles and everything, and, <laughs> you know, she's just a little bit uh, put off by it, I think. Um... I know I'm not the biggest fan of Carol, I've said it before, I, I don't really uh, buy, into, buy into her the way a lot of the fandom does, um, but I get what Ezekiel's trying to do, you know, and he basically told Carol again that he's presenting himself this way and, uh, you know, reacting this way, you know, to inspire, you know, to still have that light, you know, for others, um, and be that leader that, uh, you know, he believes they need at this point, you know, to give them that hope, you know what I mean? If, you know, if he, uh, you know, appears, like, really shaken or very, uh, doom and gloom, then they're gonna have to be the same way, and, you know. Um, so I get what Ezekiel's going for, even if I just butchered <laughs> explaining it there. Um, you know, we also have, uh, Shiva released from her cage, you know, she takes down one of the saviors as well. Uh, but I thought, the one of the other best parts of the episode, though, was Morgan. Um, you know, he and... You know, he and, uh, I think it's, uh, Tara and one of the other, uh, you know, kingdom people that they follow in. Um, well, Morgan and some of the others go in first. Uh, it appears like they get shot down. Of course, we didn't think Morgan was dead. Um, he probably survived due to the kingdom sort of, uh, body armor that he's wearing. And I just like, you know, Morgan going to Terminator mode a little bit there. Um, but I think Lenny James does a really good job with showing, uh, Morgan sort of inner mental mental battle with himself, I think that was pretty well portrayed, uh, or it continues to be, I should say. 
And so it's a pretty cool sequence of him just walking down the hallway, just uh, you know taking people down left and right. <laughs> it still felt believable and you know gritty, but you know he bought into that Morgan had that uh, that ability. So I like that. Then his struggle with um, Jesus at the end of the episode. Uh, you know Jesus, I can see how he's a little bit frustrating right now, wanting to spare everyone because they have their hands up. And you know I get that Jesus is a good guy and he's still hanging on to. You know, his humanity more than some people are even in situations like this but it is kind of clear to see that he's gonna get you know someone killed at some point um, so you appreciate it but you know why not just let Morgan you know kill the guy that was just a fucking asshole and took his stick last season <laughs> uh, I don't know um, as well as the way he uh, you know situation with uh, Tara um, you know, Tara being the one just wanting to put the guy down, and it turned out that he was, you know, manipulating him and trying to set him up. So yeah, I like Jesus, but, you know, he's got to kind of roll with things right now, I think. It's just the nature of, uh, you know, what it is, unfortunately. Um, I also liked uh, Rick's flight with the Savior in that sort of, like, office area, I guess. Um, maybe it wasn't an office area, but, you know, that uh, room, and he ends up slamming the guy on the, you know, the hook on the wall and everything. I was worried about Rick being run into that because he was on the guy's back trying to choke him out, so I thought the guy was going to try and, you know, back into that or something. Um, but Rick's able to kill him. I thought that was a pretty decent fight scene. Some people say it looked too choreographed or something. You know, I don't think so. Um, I mean, I don't think The Walking Dead has, like, the best fight scenes, but I don't think it looked fake at all there, so... I don't know. People... The Walking Dead's so big now that there's always going to be people complaining about something in the comments. You know, that's just the way the internet is these days. I'm not saying The Walking Dead's perfect, you know, I didn't, I wasn't, like, overly high in the premiere myself, but, you know, some people just pick at everything they can. Um, so that was pretty good, and uh, Rick's encounter with Morales at the end, I did hear something about it, so I wasn't, like, overly shocked, but I still think it's a pretty good reveal, because um, last we seen him in Season 1, he separated from the group, deciding to go off on his own. I think he was trying to head to Fort Benning or something like that. Um, chances are his wife and uh, family are probably dead at this point, and that sort of probably drove him to join a group like the Saviors. Um, I think it was a pretty good moment with Rick seeing that baby in the, you know, in the bed, um, you know, towards the end as well. After he just killed that guy, it really made him real and sort of think about himself and everything, and you know how not everyone's exactly uh, just straight up evil potentially, or that at least they have people they care about still. <coughs> So yeah, that's a pretty good moment, and I like Andrew Lincoln's expression at the end of the episode while he's looking at Morales. Appears like Rick's about to snap, and you hear Morales, you know, click back the gun. Um, so it's gonna be interesting. I don't think they're gonna kill Morales right away, but I don't know, maybe. Like I said, he wasn't the biggest character, but I feel like that if they bring back someone from season one like that, it should at least like last for like the season or something potentially. I don't know. Um, but we'll see. So, uh, yeah, we'll see just how far Morales is gone. So, overall, I like this episode. Like I said, I'd rate it. Uh, I rated the premiere about an 8.9. This one was a little bit better, so I'm giving it, like, between, like, a 9 and 9.2, I suppose. So, uh, yeah, let me know you guys thought about this one. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.